<laughs> yeah, okay, stay there, but don't, don't put your hands in inappropriate places, otherwise I won't be able to speak. I can't see what's going on down there. Hey everyone, it's Evelina here with my husband Vaughn. He's you're a newbie to my channel actually. I think this is I've made the odd cameo here. Yeah, the swimming video. Yes. I remember about that. But yes, you've been highly requested, so here he is. <laughs> Today we are going to talk about our lovely gothic wedding. Um, I've made a little slideshow of all of the photos that were taken and we're just going to talk through it. I haven't looked at them in a while. What we're going to do before we start that is I've got my wedding dress down here. I'm going to try it on and see seven years later if I can still fit into it. So I'm not wearing too much clothing right now. Let's see if you can get it on me. I've been saying I wanted to do this for so long. I think I threw out the hoop thing, you know, the, the is it called a hoop? I don't know what the official title is. The thing that goes under the dress to keep it like really poofy and keep its shape. Yeah, I threw that out. Okay, so there's the top of that. Is that, the, is that the yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm definitely not going to get in it if you don't unzip it. What the hell is that? Oh, that's the back. Okay, remind me to talk to you all about how much my dress was. I can't actually see what's happening. I don't see this part. <laughs> I vaguely remember doing this eight years ago. It wasn't eight yet, was it? Yeah, it's eight years ago. This year it will be eight. Yep. <laughs> okay. All right, I will show you the bottom of the dress. I'm in. That's good. I wish my hair was this long, actually. It actually think. seems a bit looser than I remember. Oh, yeah. how is that possible after two children? You've lost them. That's because they steal all my food. Yeah. Oh, can you can you show the back what you do? I can try to show the back. Yeah, I, I, I don't actually get this. Oh thing. shit! I don't get what this. Don't you remember? Is. Not that bit. I can't remember that. We'll start with the zip. Oh, uh, we gotta lace it up like a corset. Yeah. It's going to take like two hours. Oh my god. We don't have two hours. No, we don't. You have to dress me. You might have to just hold it up and <laughs> be done with it. It's not going to look very good. You look fine. I will see the back. Hey, perfect. It's not. It's, I can, <laughs> it's like totally open. It's fine. It's going to tie a knot in that. It's not even nice at the top. Tuck this is in. why men don't do up corsets. This is why men don't wear wedding dresses. Can you get it tighter? Yeah, keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. There's no more, that's it. The two bits have gone as far as I can possibly right. go. Well, I'm in it. It actually seems looser than what it was. <laughs> I wish my hair was this long. I know I already said that, but... So I got in it, yay. All right, so yeah, it seems I've lost some weight. This was a, a lot tighter. I mean, it's not done up completely. It's got all this lovely beadwork here. The satin is so thick, it's lovely. And it looked, it looked way better with that little hoopy thing underneath it. It's got beadwork here. I just felt like a princess. And look at the trail. Has it got a trail or a train? Tail. A tail? I don't know what it's called. <laughs> it's not a fucking tail. <laughs> but yeah, it was lovely. Alright, so let's go through the photos now and see what we can remember about our wedding. Whew, remind me never to do this again. Okay, I'll remind you. <laughs> not the wedding thing. They're wearing the dress in a really like closed area with like, I'm clumsy. Are you guys, I don't know if you know this about me, but I'm really clumsy. Really clumsy. You know about it. I know about it. <laughs> Especially when I'm pregnant. I, how much more clumsy did oh, I get? You know there's no cups of teas or anything. Yeah, like, he kind of like safeguards yeah. me like whenever I'm filming. So I'm in this like long dress and the trail or the train, whatever it is, is like heaps long and I'm tripping over it and things are flying and breaking. Mm -hmm. uh, You're gonna set yourself on fire. Alright, so now we're going to go through the photos and I will somehow in post editing put the same photo up so you know what we're looking at. Getting dressed, having an aneurysm. <laughs> Not really. I couldn't get... What was I... I don't even know what I'm trying to do there. I think I wore a ring over the black satin gloves that I had on. And um, I remember kicking my mum out of the room because I was doing my eyeliner. And uh, it's so funny, that same thing just happened now. That's why my eyeliner is so big today. It kept getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Because I walked in and you know when it's wet and it hasn't dried yet. And then she came in and I looked up. And then I like I nearly died because I bought waterproof everything. Because you know Aww. I thought I was going to cry. Yeah. And I did. I cried quite a few times, so I had waterproof eyeliner, water, waterproof everything. And I'm like, how am I going to fix this? So then I had to get like makeup remover and redo it. And yeah, she didn't come back in until until I was done. She's like, sorry, don't come back in. But I was not a bride Nazi. I was not a bride Nazi. 
<laughs> yes. I think, I think you mean Bride Villa. No, it's actually <laughs> a term. The Bride Nazis. <laughs> it's is a that, term. Is that like a political movement? <laughs> you're like, I've never heard look of at before. you, woman. You're bringing up Nazis in my video. No. Like, a, a it's fully a term. You do you, do, question. do you have to be a bride to join the Bride Nazis? <laughs> you need a vagina. Okay? You, need a vagina. you don't have one, so. I'm sure it's like a Hungarian punk band or something. That's the, the, bride the bride Nazis. Nazis. Yeah. No, it's when women go off the rails and they forget the point of the, the wedding is really? to marry they someone they, love. they love. And they're all like, you must wear this. I didn't do any of that. I didn't really have bridesmaids or anything like that. Because mm -hmm. they all yeah. quit. They all ran away screaming. No. <laughs> oh, really? I don't have any friends. I didn't have many people to ask. That's I asked my sister. She was my once bridesmaid. But no dresses, no fittings, nothing like this. Just wear what you want as long as it's black. Come with your arm. Yeah. As long as it's in black and red. That's right. That's what we said. Just wear black and red. And I think I had my mum as the maid of honour. But other than that, they didn't have to do anything. You know, it was really easy going. Okay, we're only on the third photo. Let's move on. <laughs> oh, look at you. With your moustache. That was heavy. That was heavy. That was that heavy was awesome. to hold. It was pretty pretty cool. I think they sprayed it black a little bit so it was darker as well. Oh, that, so that's how big the dress looks when you've got that poopy thing under it. It was pretty cool. What a poser. There'll be a lot of posing here. You kind of look like you're ready to like rock out on stage there. I'm the bouncer. Yeah, you're like the a woman. <laughs> Don't fuck with the bride. Oh. You haven't done that in a while. Hmm, I must go back to it. Back to what? it? You yeah. did, the last time you did it was eight years ago. That's a bit weird. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be for another video. <laughs> oh, look at that. My makeup looks flawless. Tattoos, beading up my dress. Oh, black nails. I miss you doing that. Mm. And you don't have that either. You've changed your facial hair quite oh, a lot. Fine. And where's your like ear thingy? I didn't have any spikes back then. The ear thing is closed up. Yeah, I like when you have balls on your face. So oh, here we go again. Here we go. It's a... <laughs> I like when you have balls on your face. <laughs> Do not go there. <laughs> this is a nice <laughs> wedding video. <laughs> You'll be like, dude, I'm allowed to say that because we're married. No. We're jumping to the honeymoon. We need to get back. <laughs> we didn't technically have a honeymoon. There were some honeymoon activities. Focus on what we're talking about. <laughs> yeah, and then your mother moved in with us. That was the honeymoon. No, 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 no. That was after the engagement. No, oh, whatever. Same thing. But yeah, he used to have, when he first got the snake bites, he had balls. And I always used to say, oh, I love the balls on your face. And now that's just got out of control. <laughs> I can't go. Uh, okay, come on, next. I think you're always holding my hand because I was just gonna like trip so over. Gonna fall over. And see, like, there we're laughing because you're like, I just tripped over and you caught me. And you're like, yeah, you're so clumsy. Uh, we did a lot of posing for kissing, but no kissing because it, like, it looks better, apparently. Terminator. Yeah, I really like that photo of you. Yeah, I'll this, be back. I'll be back. The suit looks really good. Uh, you can really see the back of the dress there. Do I look different there? Six. Seven years ago, totally the same. Still the same. My makeup looks good, doesn't it? Yeah, I did it myself. That's another thing. I wasn't gonna have like some. I did mine myself. Did you wear makeup that day? Yeah, makeup. Did you? I did. I'm gonna check in the next photo. So that's my clutch. The it sold out. The first um, bag, I guess, that I designed. I actually designed that for the wedding because I wanted. I don't know. I wanted something really special, and I couldn't find anything. Posing by the grand piano. Come on, come on, move on. It's There's more to say here. Move on. <laughs> Aww. I did get a makeup artist to do my, my contour, I think, because back then I didn't know how to do that. This is my papa, and then my mama. We're kind of sporting the same hairstyle, though. I had to squeeze my mom's neck. That's why she looks kind of funny, because she, she doesn't know how to casually smile, so it's like, oh, I'm actually pinching her neck to get a good photo out of her. She pulled it together for the day. I'm like, where's the food? I'm hungry, bitch. Alright, now around about this time, I think we're having a bit of a meltdown. Ugh! Stupid celebrant. Yeah, because the celebrant was supposed to come and pick me up and From drive me. From the hotel me, we were staying at. Mm -hmm, and drive me to. Reception. Oh, to the reception. Curzon Hall. Curzon Hall, yeah. yeah. And she didn't turn up and she wasn't answering her phone. She was a bit scattered. So we were left to sort of figure out how to get me there. 
tried to jump in the car and drive, drive yourself, yourself, which is not what I wanted to do because, you know, that's stress. And I, I finally got through to her and I'm like, where the fuck are you? Like, I fully spoke to her like that. I'm like, you were supposed to pick up Vaughn like half an hour ago. The wedding starts in 15 minutes and my groom is still here. And she's like, oh, I'm sorry. We're just having so much fun decorating and there's candelabras everywhere. And I just wanted to just look perfect. And I'm like, that's great. Come and get my fucking husband. She never did because oh, you were yeah. already there. And she couldn't say my name right. We'll get to that. <laughs> yeah. I'm not avocado. <laughs> Even the photographer, he said, Jeez, where'd you find that one? She was fine until the day. I know. And she just lost her shit. She lost her shit. The wedding was just too, like, special, I think. And, like, I don't know. She got nervous. She seemed really nervous. Yeah, she had one job. I know. Read the papers. Ugh. More things to say in a second. Alright, that's me looking pretty. I think you had left by now because oh, you're, yeah. you're no longer here, so I'm getting ready to get in the horse and carriage. We were staying at a really nice hotel too, so it made all the photos really nice. Me and my dad again, just about to get <laughs> into it. Oh, that's so sweet. That's a really beautiful one that shows off my dress. Oh. I'm so glad we have these because the whole day went so quickly. Like, mm. I can't remember it without that. Yeah, it went for about eight hours and it seemed to last for about half an hour. Yeah. We didn't even get to eat. Oh, I ate. Yeah. I ate. I just didn't get to eat the cake, which yeah, I'm still upset about. No, we got the cake and the limousine, actually. We didn't get that little dessert thing, which mm. apparently was really good. So inside the carriage now, it was really hard to get into. Heels, a crazy dress like that. Hats off to women from, like, the 16th century. So, yeah, the place we got uh, married at is Curzon Hall, but it's... It's like a castle. It used to be a house. Yeah. Of some obviously rich family. So it looks like Cinderella. It's so beautiful. Look at that. That carriage ride went really quickly with my dad. Like we were only 10 minutes away. Whoops, sorry. Um, but yeah, it, it wasn't long enough. That was a nice little moment for me and my dad too before. Before he gave me away to the devil. I think we were late too because the photographer was just having so much fun taking photos. Were you standing there for a while? Um... No, I can't remember. <laughs> you probably just got there, like... Yeah, I, I think I only just got there a few minutes before you did. <sighs> so yeah, a lot of photos before heading in. Army with the horse. Oh, they were lovely. Reminds me of London now. With all these um, animal noises. You say any animal, like a nay, nay, you'll copy you. It's the cutest thing ever. All right, we've just uh, changed over to my pics because this video is going to be like four hours long, longer than the damn wedding if, um, if I show you every single photo. <laughs> this one is oh, my dad lifting back my, my veil, which was kind of heavy. I had a headache at the end of that day. Such a perfect location for us, mm. wasn't it? Moody. That's inside. Yeah. The red, the lighting is perfect. Um, so it was in a, what used to be a wine cellar, so it was really like kind of a dungeon which they had recently renovated uh, for small events and things like that. So our wedding only had 30 guests, so it, it suited us perfectly. We had rose petals sprinkled on the red carpet, back of my dress. And willow everywhere. There you can see, it's, that was basically how big the room was. And each guest had a candle. It's mama. The rings. Remember when the celebrant started reading from the wrong page? Mm. And then she had to stop and go, oh, sorry, I'm on the wrong page. I'm like, so that's pretty much who you see there. That was everyone. doesn't even look like 30, actually. Mm, I like that bracelet on you. That's a wonderful photo. I like that one. Yeah. You should get that printed on the canvas. You can see the long dress and the red carpet. The room's filled with smoke. Candles, smoke. It's the signing of the... Wedding certificate? Yeah, Marriage yeah, certificate? Something like that, yeah. It, it involved bloodletting and leeches and sulfur, I don't mm. know the rest of it. Yeah, I remember that. Or signing. You look really evil there, like, <laughs> she didn't so, notice the things I snuck into the vows. <laughs> gotta read that fine print. Uh, I didn't, I, I shouldn't. She didn't, she should've. I should really do that. Yeah. <laughs> My mum and dad also signing. Mm -hmm. Is that just as a witness? Yeah, I think so. That, look, that looks like a shot out of Rosemary's baby. Does it? Yeah. There's a fruit nut. Angelina 
Evelinda. <laughs> fucking hell. And she spelled it wrong on the certificate. Yeah, we had to. I like... think you can see that in actually. If we get a close up <laughs> of that, you'll actually see there's a different name. And I think there's a different name on the candles. Yeah, Evelinda Demore. Fucking idiot. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I really like that photo too. I like that one. That's. I don't know, that reminds me of like Bram Stoker's Dracula for some reason. Maybe that scene where they're, they're dancing with the candles and stuff, very similar. But she's got a red dress on. Oh, look at Miles! <laughs> He's so fat! Uh, so that's my sister uh, on the right hand side of Vaughn. Oh, I love that. No, Take me. Back outside again. That's pretty much all I remember doing. Those photos, photos, photos. photos. Yeah. I remember my mum said, Are you guys coming in? Uh, you know, to like spend some time with the guests? We're like, yeah. This is a photo we've got up on the canvas. Yes. And I remember these these clouds, none of this is photoshopped. So these clouds all coming in. It's awesome. The papers always used to print that one. Oh, that's lovely too. It's like just slightly crooked. I'm like, dude, make it straight. Just yeah. rotate it. <laughs> How annoying is that? It's really <laughs> annoying to someone with like OCD. Oh my god, it make it straight. I like know. So I made him do that before they printed it in the book. So. Rosemary's baby again. That's all the guests. <laughs> Little Miles, he was the only baby in the family at that time. Obviously we hadn't had children yet. But we're hoping we might have another one soon. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Who are they gonna tell? Water shit now your shoulders. I know, it kinda looks like I've got wings. That really shows off the bouquet though on the dress. Oh, black and white. I love that one too. Oh, take me by the neck. <sighs> That's a really nice one of you too. The wind is catching mm. your jacket. Mm. These are very artsy through the twigs. The branches, I love them. What happened to those vampire glasses? Don't know, I haven't seen them in years. And after this we got a black limo to the Shangri-La in Sydney, which was a really nice hotel. Oh, look at that. I think we were running out of light at this point. <laughs> we're trying to get as many done as possible. That's pretty too. That's gorgeous. Very gothic, isn't it? With the, what they call that stained glass window in the background. Yeah. I've still got that rose, you know. Mm. It's dried in the cupboard. So I think it must have been getting quite windy at this point. Oh, I look like a baby there. Look like a baby now. Do I? Mm. Thank you. Oh, the food. Oh, That's making me hungry. Should have got more photos of it. It was really good food. Cake. Wow. <laughs> I wish we got more photos of that, actually. There's a few more coming up, but yeah, that was a pretty epic cake. And it was so good as well. I like that one, the reflection in the mirror. Speeches. <laughs> My sister's saying something funny. Cutting another cake. Oh, yeah. It's almost a crime to do that. That's a great photo, though. I love that one. Mm -hmm. I think we danced just after this. There we mm. go. What was it, song? Aerosmith. That was what I danced to with my dad. We, we danced, danced to with Interpretation, the 6 8 song. We should kind of know this. <laughs> we had no idea. But we were like, what? 6 8 um, song with Interpretation. It's like the last song on that album, isn't it? I don't know. Yeah, it is. It's the last song on that Silent Force album. It was the one that featured in Vampire Diaries, which was not at all why we selected it. It was just because it was 6 8 and it was a good kind of like yeah. waltzing. Neither of us really knew how to dance, we just winged it. I was not going to get lessons. Yeah. And I oh, dance with my dad. The next one I think we're crying, so we, we danced to, um, I don't want to close my eyes, Aerosmith. What the, what the hell's mum doing? Like, why are you holding yeah, her no, there? It's no, like awkward. It's just, just being strange. <laughs> it's like, hold hands it's properly. <laughs> She was being strange. She was being strange. Mm. That's a beautiful photo. So literally, my dad was singing. Like, he can't sing. He sings as well as you sing. He sings better than me. He does, yes. Let's be honest. Um, yeah, and like, dad just sings in this falsetto, you know? I don't want to close my eyes. I don't want to <laughs> fall asleep. Because I was super energetic. It's about that in pitch too, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It was just so beautiful, and then we just we both teared up and started crying at the same time, and it was beautiful. Mm. Another motley crew. Yeah, your family. I love the um the height there. Really? Your mum, me, and then you. My mum and my sister. Oh my god, the photos never end. This is where we <coughs> had a bunch of people coming out from the other rooms 
that all wanted to look at the black wedding dress and they wouldn't get out of the damn shot and there was a whole bunch of people at the, at the top of those stairs as well <laughs> and they all wanted to walk down the steps and we had to sort of stand there and tell them to go away <laughs> yeah because it was a really big like reception area they had maybe three or four other weddings that had like three or four hundred guests and then ours which was like the smallest of them all obviously um, so you'd pass other brides outside and stuff, and they'd all be like, oh, I love you. I remember that. Yeah. I love your dress. It's so original, so unique. <laughs> and we got that same thing, like, yep, I haven't had that before. Isn't that gorgeous? The whole venue is just set up for photography. It's beautiful. And really, like, we bought in the wedding, wedding for, like, 15 grand. I think the venue was, like, 9,000? Yeah, it wasn't very much. Yeah. 9,000, 10,000, and that was, like... The room hire and the buffet and all of that, maybe because we had so few guests. Um, I think we spent three and a half on the flowers and stuff like that. They were pretty elaborate. The photography too was quite expensive. Yeah, another three and a half there. I can't count, but yeah, my but my dress, like everyone is like, oh, how much was your dress? And it looks like it would have been like six grand or something like that. But I got it off some, I can't remember, some bridal website in China, three hundred US dollars. So I just took a chance and. But what's the worst that can happen? If it's really shit, I'll just I'll buy one locally. But I was trying on a few. Firstly, they didn't have any black. And they were like really four, five, six thousand dollars. I'm like, for a dress you're gonna wear once? I'd rather buy myself a camera. I love that photo in the black. Remember we edited in more lights there. Mm -hmm. That one as well, I remember we we were looking at the scene from Bram Stoker's record. Yeah. <laughs> He's so little. His pajamas, isn't it? Yeah, ready for bedtime. So this is us in the limo now. Uh, and that's it, that's our wedding. That's it. Summed up in a hundred photos. It was going to be five hundred, but we had to cut that shit down. Mm -hmm. Would you do it again? Yeah, I'd do it again. It's fun. We should do it again just for the hell of it. Maybe at ten years. In Vegas. We'll go to Vegas. I don't wanna like are you gonna be Elvis? No, but we can get dead Elvis to do it. Dead Elvis. It'd be like a zombie and shit. Okay. Yeah. That sounds cool. You guys can come. They can come, all of them. Yeah. All 10,000 of you better be there. We better send out the invitations. Okay. <laughs> Sorry for taking so long for making this video. It is a bit of a chore to get him and me together in the same room when I'm filming mm. these days, isn't it? Yeah. Um, with all the work we've been doing on the backyard, that's kind of slowed down and finished. So we, yeah, we have more free time. And I am heading off to LA almost next week, aren't we? Next week, yeah. Yeah, Bon will be with me for a week and then he's coming back um, with the kids a little bit earlier. So yeah, I just thought let's do it while, while we can and whilst I still fit in this dress because if I am hopefully pregnant soon, <laughs> I'm not going to fit in it anymore. Ah! Next time I'll wear the dress. I'd like to see that. Could do it right now if you want. Alright, let's Get do it. I'm, I'm, <laughs> take it off and then you put it on. Yeah, you don't want me to take it off, that's all. <laughs> You, know, yeah, you don't really want me to put the dress on, you just want me to get naked, that's all. Yeah. Alright, on that note, woo, sale. Um, let's not end it on balls or mm -hmm. Nazis or anything mm -hmm. like that. Right, Nazis. <laughs> Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you'd like to see more videos with Vaughn, because apparently... Who doesn't want to see more videos with oh. me? Right, what am I saying? That's right. You need your own channel. I'd subscribe. I've got my own channel. Do you? Yeah. Balls.com. Oh my god. <laughs> it would be on YouTube. You don't even know what you're talking about. <laughs> okay, on that note, please leave a comment. Let me know if you would wear black at your wedding. Did you enjoy? <laughs> Sorry. Did you enjoy what I did for my wedding? See you guys next time. Bye.